Hey YouTube, Josh here from RC Ranch. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an update of the eBay store. So this is the photo room. Uh, I think this looks pretty similar to the last time. Most of the changes have been in the storage room and the shipping room. But for uh, the photo room, I'm still doing the same setup with the whiteboard, the light. I have the ruler right here that I throw out and measure, get the measurements with. Then I flip it over and then I fold it up and I pack it into a clear bag and then I throw a number on it for the, the SKU system and then I put it up on this shelf. I'm doing 40 a day uh, still. I think in the future I'm going to bump up to 50. I did 80 um, about a week ago, a week and a half ago now um, on a Sunday. That was pretty intense. I could not do that on a Monday um, because of the shipping and all that. But I'm thinking about moving up to 50 or 60 a day because I've been making some changes. Um, but the shipping or the photo room is pretty similar. I do the 40 here, put them into a box. And then when these boxes are filled, I take the box down the hall. And so we're going to go down the hall to the uh, storage area. And so take the photos in there and then I go down the hall and I put them into the storage area. So when I'm done with the box, it goes into the storage area and I have it set up so that they're all in order, um, numbered numerically. So see how they start um, right here is number 7371 and then they roll up uh, and they just keep counting up and up and up. Uh, here's some 7400s and that just keeps getting progressively higher as you go higher and higher up the shelves. Up here is uh, 8057. So that's where I'm putting all the items. They're just numerically in order. And so when I go to pick an item, if it says 7500, I come in here and I look. This is not it. This is not it. So I'm looking for 7,500 is gonna be in this bin right here somewhere. Oh, one back. Um, but then <clears throat> that's the inventory system. And so over here um, is the shipping area and I pull up the orders on the computer and it'll tell me what item pulled. So I go in there and I grab the item. I come in here and I put it on the scale and then the scale will throw me a number and uh, I hit print or I type in the number into the computer system and then hit print and then it prints me out a label out of the label printer there and then I take the label and I just put it onto here so it goes right on there and then this one's ready to go and so then I put it into the bag I put uh, my first class in one bag and I put the priority mail in the other bag and then I take them to the post office each day and have them scan them all. So that's the setup um, for the storage and then the shipping. And for shipping, I have um, the whole table set up here just for shipping. So I have the computer and then the label printer and the scale. And then I have the most common bags here are the, I think they're 10 by 13 poly bags. And then I have priority mail um, legal, or I mean, priority mail flat rate envelope. And then I have the one that's slightly bigger, the legal envelope. And these you can fit jeans into. Like here's some jeans in uh, the smaller envelope. You just kind of fit them in there and then roll the, roll the corners of it. And you can end up getting quite a bit of stuff into one of these envelopes. So I put the priority mails in there. Um, these are the main envelopes that I use. And then up there are some boxes that I use. I have the extra labels. And then there's tape down there. And then I have more um, envelopes and all that stuff. So that's the, the shipping setup. And then for listing, I just put the um, pictures on the computer and just list right from the computer. So that's the setup. Uh, I have 3,500 items roughly. I think uh, 35 and some change now. So I'm trying to build the store up to 10,000 right now. Um, I think that it's gonna take a, quite a bit longer to get there. 
Um, I've just been grinding out um, listings, you know, trying to do extras here and there. Um, there was a couple weeks where I was able to do an extra 10 a day. So I was doing 50 a day. And then, <clears throat> like I said, a, a week and a half ago, I did 80 in a day. And so I'm trying to get the bigger numbers up there to try and uh, build the store faster. Because I think that once I get to 10,000 uh, listings, I should hit around 100 sales a day. And that's kind of my goal for now. Uh, I want to get to that 100 sales a day mark. So right now I'm at roughly 30 uh, sales a day, like individual items. Um, I think I'm sending 25 to 30 packages a day and selling at least 30 items a day. So in the past month, I've sold 1,050 items and I have uh roughly 300 positive feedback so i'm doing pretty well for that um for the past month i'm trying to work on growing it in the future and i think that with the garage sales coming up that'll uh, help grow it um and that'll be you know obviously the cost of goods is cheaper then so i'll be able to do more listings per day for for less cost so that's the plan for the future uh if you guys have any questions let me know uh all this stuff except the computer is in the description. Um, I have links to the, the clear bags and the, the nine by or the 10 by 13 bags and uh, quite a bit of the other stuff. The boxes, these are from Walmart. These are just um, large boxes that get cut in half. I um, buy them, I get like 15 at a time because it takes tw 28 total um, half boxes. So you need 14 full boxes, cut them in half, and then you have your 28 boxes. And then the shelves, um, these are just custom built from Menards. Uh, they're, I think, 66 inches long or so, and then the spacing is 13 inches between each shelf. So I just spaced them enough to fit these boxes in here because they're, I think they're 19 inches wide. And then, yeah, that's, that's how I did the shelves. These are decent, but like I've addressed in past videos, these shelves, uh, they're just not efficient enough for what I'm trying to do. Uh, if I had a huge warehouse or something that was super cheap, then I would do all these shelves because they're easy and uh, quick to build. But since I'm limited on space and I plan on staying small, like footprint wise, uh, I've just decided to build custom shelves. So in the future, this whole room will be custom shelves. And then the shipping station will be reduced down to just one of these uh, carts or one of these shelves because this is actually two pushed to, push together. So I'm just going to combine that into one shelf. It'll probably be like a double stack, something like this. Uh, make that a little bit easier. And then there will be a shelf there and a shelf here, a wooden one, just like how this room is. Um, and then I'll just have the little shipping station will be probably right around this area. And then I'll still be able to get in here and get into the boxes and everything. And then I'll still have my shipping space here. And then I can store extra little things like a pillow if I need to take a nap back here. No, uh, realistically, there's a lot of shipping supplies stored back there and, you know, just random, random things that I'll use during the shipping process. So yeah, that's that's the plan for the future is to do two more shelves, uh, in, but in this room. And then I'll put the, the shipping station in the middle somewhere. And uh, one thing that would really, really make my day is like if this unit opened up, then I would be able to take the photo room, which is way down there. And I'd be able to take the photo room and put it in here and then just have a lot more uh, room for activities down here. So that's that's kind of the, the future. I'm hoping, you know, the next time I talk to you, I have maybe this unit or this one or something like that. And maybe one or two more shelves built. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the update. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything else um, that has changed. I guess I'm really looking forward to garage sales. I've been building some sources. Um, I have a good source that I found. Um, so... Looking forward to using sources and garage sales and just building more, um, I guess, business relationships or sourcing relationships. So that'll be interesting in the future, see how that goes. And uh, I'll definitely do an update again in the future with, with how this whole setup is going. And I'm sure there'll be some changes that I'm unaware of. 
Um, I know I do want to change the photo setup a little bit so that that board is easier to tilt, but that's kind of uh, on the back burner to the inventory system. So um, that'll be the future. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.